They're all gorgeous. Look at the difference. Welcome to Silver Linings. On this channel, I review only silver gray white wigs, hair pieces, toppers, and other times I'll talk about caring for our natural gray hair. Women are paying a fortune for this look. I just saw one today, Jack Martin, the color, the colorist, and he does he does color like this constantly. And this reminds me very much of Jack's work. I'm doing the unboxing right in front of you, so you know I have not even taken her. I haven't even looked at her yet. This one is color number 56. Fifty-six. I want to show you the actual swatch from the sample. There it is. Give you a close-up of the hairline. And again, I have the widow's peak. So, but the lace front is right here. So, if you didn't, if you don't have any hair at your widow's peak, you're going to be fine. But I, that's always a challenge for me, which is why I love to have just a little bang. To hide, to hide some of that widow's peak. But on some wigs, it, you don't even see it. It's pretty amazing. Uh, this one is pretty close to, to uh, being perfect. But if it's not, just arrange it how you like it. What I love about this style is that it's not too much hair. It's not so dense that it's not believable. As I said in my review of Athena 6101 GR, it looks and it feels just like real hair. It really does, everyone. Now, if you're seeing any shine, I don't know what your monitor is showing you. That would be bouncing off of my ring light. I have a big ring light in front of me. Those, that lovely sweep of that bang with a fringe. To me, it just allows you to wear longer length if you've got those beautiful face framing layers. And then again, all I did was I went like this. I took her out, I shook her. Gave it a good shake. And that's it. That's all I did. So you could put it on, fluff it up, out the door you go. Let's move on to number 3856 GR and see how we like that one. 
All right, so I've lifted Athena out of the box and I'm going to just turn her right side out. Before we turn her right side out, let's have a look at the cap. You see you've got the open cap right underneath there. I tend to prefer these open caps because I get very warm and it gives me some breathability at the at the base of my neck so I'm not quite as warm and all the open wefting there so she'll be nice and cool on your head. We have the Velcro um the Velcro strap type adjusters and we have the air tabs that are covered in felt with the metal stays inside. We have a monofilament top. Uh, I covered that very heavily in the review of the other color, so I'll insert that in this video as well. And then we have the temple to temple lace front with that nice banding right there of some polyurethane kind of feels like something that will help stick if you don't have any hair to the hair to your head. And then let's see, what else do we have here? I think that about covers it. And of course, we've got the labels in the back. So beautifully done hairline. Henry Margot does a beautiful job on the hairline. So without further ado, let's look at her color. It's a combination of 56 and 38. So let's just say if you were a sandy colored hair before you started going gray, you're probably going to absolutely love this. Absolutely love this. And that's one of the reasons I wanted to get it because some of you like more silver than white. Some of you like more white than silver. Some of you like all white. Some of you like all silver. This is a combination, as I've just said, of those two colors right there. Okay, so here's the last one. This is the 3856GR. So this is the one that has, thought I'd let you see me putting it on a little bit. Um, all I did was shake it out. I haven't done anything else to it, okay? Again, you can see that gorgeous face framing cut, beautifully layered. Lace front, beautifully done. Now you can see part of my widow's peak there. So I usually have to and I can see a little bit of lace there too. So I would have to trim that lace right there, but that's no big deal at all. Once I trim that lace, she's going to fit right flush, just about hardly detectable. Now, which one do I like better? I'll be honest with you. I like 56 the best. I do like um, the very first one that I showed you, 6101 GR, but I like for my taste, I like 58 the best because uh, usually I do love the rooted, the rooted colors, but I would wear any of them. I tell you the truth, I'd wear any of them without, without a blink. But my favorite for the silver gray white um, preference that I have is this is uh, number 56 one that I had on before this one but again I as I always say it's not about me it's about you and which one do you prefer again this one I showed you those two colors so that you can see how much um, 38 is in it and how much 56 is in it and I think that there's a fair amount of both of them so let me do the spin for you See what I mean? I mean, it's just so light, density, believable. It's about the same density as my own hair. There, there's just more of it. My own hair on the sides and the back is pretty much like this. Where I'm thin is, of course, on the crown. And as I've said so many times, even if I didn't have to wear a wig, since I've, 
since I've gotten familiar with the world of wigs, I'd probably wear one even if I didn't have to, just to, to have a good hair day. They're just so believable now. So there you could see the top of it. I mean, look, it looks like you're looking right straight into the scalp. All right? With that monofilament top. Looks right, looks just like scalp. So you could take that and you could part it in another spot if you wanted to. She likes to go to the right. But you could if you wanted to absolutely part her anywhere in that monofilament top area. And one last look again you can see it's we have a heavy cloud cover here today but I do see more gold in Athena 6101 GR or really that platinum color the middle one, uh, Athena, and the 3856 GR is the combination of those two colors. And then lastly, the color number 56 all the way on the right. Now, the one on right here is the 56. My right ear left. And this one is the sandy, has got the brown color in it. So obviously this one is brighter because it doesn't have, this one is brighter because it doesn't have the brown. It's just 56, right? Now let me turn them both right side out and then I'll hold them. This one right here is the one with the most silver color, 56. This one right here is the one that has more silver and the brown. The one on my head has colors from the Platinum family, 6101 GR. So here's color 60, which is color 60 is all white, right? All white. And then color 101, you see the 101? The 101 is in, is in the blonde Platinum family. I hope you can see that. The, the white one, this is 60. And this is the 101. So the 101 is in the blonde family, but it's just light enough so that when they put it with the 60, it, it makes a beautiful color. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So now, I hope that that, that helps you because boy, oh boy, I wish I had known this when I first started wearing wigs. This is going to save you a lot of frustration if you can get the color Right. Before we say goodbye, let me remind you that there is a full review of Athena in the color 6101GR. Just click the card up there and you'll be able to see that full review. This has been a review of Athena by Henry Margu in three colors, 6101GR, 56, and 3856GR. Thanks so much for watching. If you like, give it a like, hit the little bell icon, and subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Take good care. Bye-bye.